decorations, right? So if you want to save yourself a little money and have some of those one-of-a-kind decorations at your own home, we have somebody who could help you out. Oh, yes, they transform wood into everything from seasonal crafts to kitchen utensils, even home improvement projects. Paul Sauter from Woodcraft of San Antonio is here to help us spook up some holiday spirit and tell us about a celebrity that is visiting their store this week. And is this going to be hard to do, Paul, if you don't have any woodworking experience? No, these are all pretty straightforward projects that anyone can jump in and tackle with pretty minimal tools and skills, so it's a lot of fun. Minimal skills, all right, it. I'm in. <laughs> I know, that's right up our alley here. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Uh, today, we are going to first start off with this little sign, and it's just a, a sign you can put up uh, around the house and kind of decorate with. After we move through that, we'll come over here and make one of these little uh, bats that can hang around the house. and. You can nice. make a bunch of them. We got a couple on set with us today. Very so cool. we're getting a little yeah. batty over here. Yeah. I like it. That's what we like to do. Good. All right. So what's the first thing you do to make one of these cool signs? Well, you did the first thing and you okay. cut that block for us. So we take this guy and uh, coming off the saw, you might want to just get a block, put some sandpaper around it, ease up the edges. You know, kids might be playing with it. You don't want any splinters in there. Safety first. Totally. Safety so first. you'll take one of those guys, set it down, and then you'll just slap some black all over it. Slap some black all over it. Got it. That's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, minimal skill. I love it. But it looks great, and you can hang them up anywhere, like you said, around the house, or you can put them, these are, you can put them outside, Yeah, right? it's fun and easy. Oh, definitely. You can put it down the driveway as kids are walking up for the uh, trick-or-treating, so, yeah. All right, so you have classes also, okay, so of course, for folks with minimal skill. Do they we need do. to bring anything, or is everything provided? Most everything's provided. Uh, if something's needed, the uh, instructor will let you know, but yeah, we have some of the stuff that we do for the classes. One of our big ones is the cutting board. It's a one-on-one -on -one class, so somebody brand new to woodworking can just jump in and do it. And for a day, <laughs> you'll come in and make leave with the cutting board. So we'll, let, right, so we'll let that dry, right? That's probably good, yeah. Okay, okay. We'll call so that while good. that's drying, Paul, if you want to show me over here, actually, we can get started on this bat, and then we can go finish up while Fiona mm -hmm. puts the little white letter on there. Yeah, so I just uh, I found a, a design that I liked and tra kind of drew it out onto a piece of plywood. Okay. And once I have your master, you can just trace it, and it goes quick and easy. Perfect. So I've done another one. I've cut out most of it to you save have, us a little time. You've done most of the work. <laughs> well, you can finish up for me. And okay. so you see the line, and you're just going to cut on it, and that's pretty much it. Keep okay. your fingers out of the blade. There we go. You did a great job, see? You did Look the whole that. bat. There you are. I did the whole bat. So. <laughs> I did a little bit of the wings. Same thing. We just throw some black on that guy, too. So you, we've mm -hmm. got yours done. We'll okay. pass that over to you. OK. You paint over there if you I'm want. paint over this thing so I don't get this, this board um, messy. Then you can just grab some stencils okay. and put that on there, paint the Y and good to go. And now coming up, you actually have a celebrity crafter that's going to be in store. Uh, talk to me about who's going to be there. We do. His name's Eric Gorges, and he has, he's the host of A Craftsman's Legacy. And he'll be coming to our store from 3 to 5 on Friday. And he'll be doing a book signing tour. He wrote a book also called A Craftsman's Legacy. And so we've partnered with him. Woodcraft has partnered with Eric and his show to help highlight some of our products and kind of show what we do. Very cool. So, and like you said, book signing, everything. So you can yeah, go meet Yeah, book him. signing, just yeah. come hang out. Uh, it's real informal. He's a very approachable person, so real easy to just pop in, have a conversation with him. A lot of people have seen his show, like what he does, so it's a great opportunity to, to meet them. So tell us a, a little bit about some of the, you know, kind of cooler crafts you've helped folks build. Um, so one of the things I really like is the keepsake box you see there, and that's a class that we teach as well. That's getting a little more advanced, and you get your hands on uh, the, the tools that we have in the shop, and you leave with amazing, beautifully crafted box. And it looks, I love the different, the like dual tones that you got going on. So you get different color wood, you have different kinds of wood, though. That's right. what actually makes up the color. So going back to the 101 class of the cutting board, you get to learn everything there is about wood, what, how, to, how to work with it, how to cut it up. We have a lot of tools in our shop, and you get your hands on just about all of them in the process of making that board and you learn about the different species of wood. There are exotics and domestic woods, and none of those woods there that you see have been stained or anything. They, that's just the natural color of the wood. 
Fiona, I'm excited to see the reveal. Are you gonna, are you gonna reveal? You oh, wanna say it? You wanna let it dry a little bit? <laughs> here we go, Should here we go. Should be all right. And... Hold on. There, hey, hey, there, we hey, go. there we go. Yeah. Hey, we'll, we'll trade you out. We'll put just it needs, there. Spooky. Just needs a little cleanup over there. Just there a little cleanup. <laughs> there well, you if you want to meet TV star Eric Gorgeous and let him check out, uh, and you want to check out the True Craftman Project, make sure that you're going to be there this Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And for more information on Woodcraft of San Antonio, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Paul, thank you so much. Thank you all for having me.